200 miles an hour. A very difficult target for cars hit in the 1900s, but today, 16 modern cars can blast past this 200 mile an hour mark. It all started in 1905 with the 90 horsepower Napier, which hit 100 miles an hour. Succeeded in 1969 by the Dodge Charger Daytona that blasted past 200 miles an hour. And today, in 2019, the Bugatti Chiron Supersport blasted past the 300 mile an hour mark. Even though these modern marvels can blast well past 200 miles per hour, Stormworks cars can't even touch the 200 mile an hour mark. Now that we have power back, welcome back to some more Stormworks Build and Rescue. I'm Stormrunner Gaming, and today I am finally back from my hiatus. Not only from YouTube videos, but Stormworks as well. And I do want to apologize for that long, you know, break from videos on Stormworks and on YouTube as well. I was taking some higher level college classes I needed to focus all my energy on. But besides that, I did finally graduate with my degree, so yay! All right. Off that little riff there, I'm going to talk about Stormworks for a quick second. I probably won't be doing the same videos I used to do on the game. You know, those tutorials and super in-depth videos about the updates of the game. I'm going to be doing more videos like you see today, like this 200 mile an hour video here. And, you know, maybe some multiplayer sprinkled in here and there. But Stormworks isn't going to be my main focus, or at least I'm going to not focus on it as much but stick around because i still will be doing a lot of videos on it so let's jump right into today's video if anyone out there is unfamiliar with the types of vehicles i have on my workshop on the steam workshop that is there's a lot of boats but mainly there's a few more cars on there and this is one of the examples of one of the cars it's a mid-engined sports car i called the srg gv30 i think that's the name i put way too many letters in it to remember the name I'm sorry to cut myself off here, but if we just bump the volume up here in a second, let's listen to the engine sound. It, it sounds like a blender in your kitchen or something, but besides the new updates I've totally forgotten about in the past month, we can look at this, you know, high-powered, high-speed car, and we're getting just under, or just about, the 140 mile an hour mark. And this car, I know it does have some weight blocks on it, but even still, it only hits about 150 miles an hour when you max just about everything out. Um, the base version of the car only has a 30 RPS speed, but the maxed out version has a 60 RPS engine, and still, we're only getting that 10% increase, or excuse me, not 10%, 10 mile an hour increase, I'm not exactly sure what percentage increase, but this kind of led me down the rabbit hole of trying to figure out if it was possible to get a regular car up to 200 miles an hour. Now, I did actually send out a challenge out on my Discord. If you guys aren't part of it, there's a link in the description down below. But everyone on my Discord, I sent out a challenge to build a car with only four wheels that could get up to 200 miles an hour. Or it's a little bit over 300 kilometers an hour, but you know, for conversion sake, if anyone out there doesn't know miles per hour. Anyway, enough with that rant. I did have one person take on that challenge, and I would like to send out an honorable mention to Marky Mark. He did actually get a vehicle to go up to 131 miles an hour, a pretty cool looking red sports car that he built. You know, it isn't the 200 mile an hour mark, but I applaud them for trying. So, you know, nobody else really took on that challenge. So my first ever attempt at this 200 mile an hour mark looks more like a Zamboni than an actual car, but you get the point. I stripped out a lot of weight from some of my previous vehicles and, you know, just said, how fast could we get this thing to go? And surprisingly, it beat out a lot of my other cars, you know, making it a little bit lighter, giving it a bit more power. We were get, able to get this thing up to about 180 miles an hour. And that's about all she wrote. There wasn't much more to that top speed of this vehicle. I took a bunch of different variations of this vehicle, changed things around, changed weight around, tried it for a couple different hours, and 
you know nothing really seemed to get past that 180 maybe 181 mile an hour mark there so let's go to the 200 mile an hour mark two vehicle i know this vehicle definitely won't be winning any beauty contests out there but you know it might destroy some other vehicles in some drag races out here so here it is looking like a, a tub and a limousine combined together but it is a pretty quick vehicle. I started to lengthen it out just because I started working with modular engines so I could get a little bit more power without having to string multiple engines together. So that's kind of why it took this weird length. And I do apologize for the high revving. It might be a little bit annoying of that blender sound there. But, you know, if we launch it right down the runway here, you can see my sequential gears to kind of know what gear I'm in. We're getting up pretty quick, 170, 180, come on, 182, 183, 184, 185. I feel like with that six gear and the amount of power I have, if I had a long enough runway, like the desert and the new DLC, I might be able to get this car up to 200 miles an hour, but you know, I'm cheap and didn't want to buy the DLC just for a 200 mile an hour challenge. So I kind of went back to the drawing board and I do want to show real quick. I do have a version of this vehicle with three wheels and kind of why I limited it to two wheels. So here we are with the three wheeled version. It is really weird looking because it now has a third wheel in the middle of it, but it is a very quick car. I don't think we even need to go to the end of the runway to get this up to over 200 miles an hour. We can probably just send it down here as we shake around. 180, 190, 200 right there. And challenge done. But it's a three wheel car yet again. So challenge isn't exactly done here. I'm I've definitely tried a lot of cars trying to beat this challenge here. I probably should just put a brick wall at the end of this and let them smash into it and see what happens. But, you know, I guess I'm not Gallagher. <laughs> Maybe just a watermelon at the end of it. Anyway, anyway, stupid, stupid ideas aside. Here is the final version of my 200 mile an hour challenge. My contribution to it at least, or my bills here. And you know, it's a little riff on what I had previously with that four wheel vehicle. And from right here, you know, it fits all the criteria that we need. And I think, I'm not exactly sure if I'm cheating or not here, but there's something going on on the back end where it kind of does and doesn't fit within the criteria. I'll let you guys decide and see if I cheated at my own challenge, but this is what I came up with. I think technically it only has four pieces of rubber hitting the road. I mean, unless you count the, the chains in the, in the tank treads here that are glitching through the hull, but you know, it is a quick vehicle. I just turned it off instead of turned it on. All right, let's put the clutch in and show you through all the smoke how quick this vehicle actually is. I just turned my clutch down, not up. There it is. It is insane at drag racing, easily going over 200 miles an hour. It kind of reminds me of the three-wheel drive vehicle because the three-wheel drive vehicle also tops out at about 120 miles an hour. So something I feel in the Stormworks physics makes the tank treads act like a wheel themselves and in fact, I've kind of cheated my own challenge. Hold on, we're going to try with only one tank tread on the back of the vehicle and see what happens. Or one tank wheel and see if I can get up to 200 plus miles an hour. All right, we have this ridiculous looking abomination, but enough said about it. We've got some pointy wheels on the ground. Let's see if it actually gives us more traction or we're just wasting our time. Apparently we are just wasting our time because we don't have enough power to actually push it into fifth and sixth gear That's weird. I wonder why it won't get into fifth and sixth gear. I mean we have enough torque. Look at that engine <laughs> I think it's like a, a 60 cylinder engine or something silly, but even still it's kind of a ridiculous thing Oh, this version did have brakes good <laughs> Some of the versions didn't have brakes, and that's why I was talking about earlier. A lot of the vehicles got lost into the water, but that is, you know, all I really have to show about it. Stormworks really doesn't... 
What? Why did it just start up and start driving forward? Don't launch yourself into the ocean before I'm done this video, please. <laughs> I need something good in the background. Okay, this thing doesn't look very good, but you know, something interesting in the background. It's going to do it anyway. I turn the clutch off. Ah, whatever. Let's take it back to the workshop. So if anyone out there does actually know of a workshop creation or, you know, anyone out there that built a vehicle with just four wheels and no tank treads that can hit 200 miles an hour in this game, you know, without a jet engine strapped to the back of it, I'd love to see it because at this moment, I feel like it's impossible in the game. But, you know, this didn't stop me from starting to mess around with some other ideas. After I did that tank tread vehicle, I started to do some crazy inventions. If you guys have seen the uh, Grand Tour episode in... Oh, I forget what country they were in. Uh, Madagascar. Uh, what Hammond built kind of inspired this a little bit it's kind of ridiculous but <laughs> it doesn't have a high top speed but it is a monster off-road although sadly the suspension doesn't really do much of anything to keep the four different tank treads on the ground but besides that that is where i will be ending this video so of course if you guys did like it please leave a like and consider subscribing to stay up with stormworks and more of my content but I've been great. Goodbyes. Where people need me, and I need to go.